It's my first wellness retreat experience. We are preparing for Ibiza. <laughs> oh my god. Is your sweatpants era over? Yeah, for now. Maybe they'll come back. Oh, you can ground yourself here, babe. It's real grass. The magnetic field was fielding, you know? Hello, hello. Wow, okay. My skin is so nice. So nice. It's because of Salwasu. I tried, I tried them before, but I tried them again after a little bit. And I'm like, wow, why did I even stop Korean skincare? I tell ya, they know how to pack it in. Okay, we have a full house today. We have Alexis who's opening packages. Hello, Alexis. Hi. We have a Marsana that we got by uh, a miracle because she was supposed to be out of town, but then it got canceled, so she's here. I'm so sad that it got canceled, but I'm so happy you're here. And then Celine, who's been sending me really creepy TikToks. So same scripture. Is this <laughs> Okay, it's already not a joke. It's already like a fact. It's like, what do you feel? Like you woke up this morning and you like striped shirt. Every time I film, Celine is wearing a striped shirt, and people already started noticing. Like they're making comments. Not that it's the same striped shirt, but it's like, is this a uniform? <laughs> it's actually insane. I can't explain it. I can't explain it, it's crazy. Okay, uh, Amarsana is here because we are preparing for Ibiza. I'm leaving tomorrow with Gary on... Uh, I'm jealous, by the way. Are you jealous? Let's go. Yeah, come. What are you? We can all share a room. We are packing for the trip. Oh, <gasps> what? Did you see this? What is that? Oh my god! What, what, the, what the hell that? is that? <gasps> I feel like I'm at Disney World. Wait, this wait, is wait, actually okay. amazing. I feel like wait. Ben would love this. Where's this from? Um, from Coralie? Yeah. Is this just like but I don't understand the pieces yeah. that they're sending. So, yeah. This was all in one thing. What even? How does this? Whoa! This doesn't come with instructions. This is a really cool map. Oh, uh, lamp. Oh, map. Anyways, we're putting outfits together for Ibiza to make sure that my outfits are on point and I don't overpack because for these trips I hate schlepping things that I never wear. And we're doing fittings to see what looks cute and what's a pass. I had my third coffee today and I don't know if it was necessary. Actually, I, ex I know exactly that it was not necessary because now I'm going to be going crazy. But honestly, it was Celine's fault because she bought it. We used all the thingies? That's crazy. Yeah. There's already a candle lit. Where? And oh, that's why it smells nice. No, I'm saying who does it? it, 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 it do you have it? It's it so cold. I came to the office wearing a cashmere sweater and I still had to put on this jacket because I'm freezing. What are we missing? Everything. No. Yeah. A box. A box. A box that I really like. She's freaking out. A box that she really likes. Yeah, she's like, can you, can you please? This is a Marsana freaking <laughs> out. We're gonna surprise you with great oh. outfits. What's inside box? I don't know. Maybe. 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 Oh my god, it's so sick. Okay. Boobies are out, cameras are off. Oh, wow, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's so pretty. I can't wear this type of dress. Why? I don't have enough boob for it. <laughs> wow, that was so. <laughs> <laughs> it's really pretty though. What? What about the She buttons? can't wear this type of dress because see, she doesn't have the butt for it. Is there something on top that I can wear? Like in this, oh, this is like long, long. Mm. I just feel like it's like daytime friendly for this. So daytime friendly. So chic. Okay, outfit number one. Body roll. Yeah. Well, let's see. Look how she knows what I need. Turn around. Because there's ruching, so my butt, the dimples are not dimpling. I have bad dimples. I think everybody does. No, no, mine are like, mine are crazy. It's mine crazy. are, it's called, I went to a doctor, he's like, your body's deformed. I'm like, thanks, dude. You want water? 
I need a flat heel. A flat heel. No, a flat here. No here. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking that's a an oxymoron. A flat shoe. Huh. Like it's. Yeah. Something is like. Stop looking at my butt. <laughs> this is even like. La 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 la. With your arm up like that. I just wonder if it feels like I'm wearing it wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? What if this is this the is... bottom one and this huh? is the front? You know what I mean? This, the tag is here. <laughs> yeah. I see what you mean though, like here. Yeah. It feels uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> it looks a bit like straight jacket. <laughs> Try to lift your arms. No, because then you get this. You get the Tatiana's. They should come like with instructions on how to put it on. Okay, cool, next. What is happening? A retro. Look. What? This is the back. How? Oh, okay, maybe. <laughs> I don't mind the back, but maybe, maybe like... with like, uh, maybe something, you know, like the during the day. Yeah, yeah, like daytime, yeah. 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 Does it give like... Back? Like a nightgown? Does it give like a child? But is it like cute retro or like Let me see 18th century? Back. Well, you're gonna wear hair down, right? <laughs> it's just giving very like rectangle. <laughs> Some more porridge, please. Okay, let's just go. This color looks gorgeous. Huh? This is giving the atonement dress. The who? Atonement. Who's atonement? You know, the book that then it was like Kieran Knightley and no. James McAvoy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stupid little Bryony. He's watching you. The only thing I would have to do for this, if we do, would you do like it? It's not worth it. Worth this it. color is a bit too costumey yeah. for me. Yeah, for sure. You said you don't have like very maybe some like jewelry, yeah, like or yeah. What about these? Does your ear smell like cheese? Everyone's ears smell weird. Some bit. Oh, oh my God. What? what? I don't know mean? if I can say this on camera. Lamar Odom in court said that Chloe's vagina smelled like the back of an earring. Why would he say that? This is like unwritten record. I don't know. Stupid. Oops. Sorry. No, I didn't feel anything. <laughs> she doesn't feel anything anymore. I'm dead. Still alive, but I'm baby. This is bofi. This is so good. I love this. You Where see? Is that black little thingy? <gasps> oh. Do you like it together? I think it competes. It competes right? yeah. I do like like No. I love this though. Yeah, so chic. This. Can you smell my ears? No. You're so <laughs> If it's a bit windy, we're done. Well, yeah, it's so tight. Are gonna you're being you dramatic. Know, <laughs> oh my god. You can always put a nipple cover. Is it cool or is it silly? Why does it smell like cheese over here? It's my ears! <laughs> Ew! I wonder if it's like if it's a sign of like something is no, not good no. with me. Like I said people, that as, a lot of people have that. I said that as a joke. Don't sn Ew! <laughs> and then you try to play it off just like <laughs> super cute. Fun. It's like pajamas and bananas, but they're not cheap. Yeah. <laughs> a what? Bananas and Bana pajamas. <laughs> Why am I laughing all of a sudden? Like I'm <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, here we are. We are struggling with the suitcases. So we are at the airport. Oh my god, my back. My back. We are heading out to Ibiza for about five days we are doing uh, something really exciting our new friends alex and mimi icon are putting together did you say our new friends no our new friends did i say our new friends you said our new friends our new friends i think i said our dear friends we've known them for years our new friends yes our friends alex and mimi icon who are amazing doing this intelligent change summit and this is their first one 
and we are so happy to go and support it. It is basically a wellness entrepreneur retreat where we are all getting together, all these people around the world from media, wellness, uh, companies, people that build, anything surrounding that are going to attend and it's just... Do you have the Yes. And there's just an amazing itinerary that they built. Yes. We're very excited to experience all of that. Gary and I both are going. We actually met Alex and Mimi uh, for the first time, I think like, yeah, last year actually. No, not last year. Oh my God, what's the timeline? We were, when we went to London. 2019. 2019. Four, over four years ago. Four years ago. We met in real life for the first time and we had a wonderful dinner and uh, we actually recorded a podcast. We stayed in touch and seen them a couple of times here and there and now we are going to the first summit so if you guys don't know intelligent change are um, responsible for the extremely popular five minute journal who i feel like helped everyone during the pandemic and just kept us all sane and grateful so they're very much of big believers in mental health and wellness and just a different kind of approach you know are you gonna watch movies? Are you gonna sleep? Are you gonna read anything? No, come on. You need to take advantage of this time. You won't get it back. 100%. Do all the things you can do because there's children or someone beside you. Do you have any words of wisdom for me? Yeah, I'm doing some stuff right now, babe. <laughs> so that's the words of wisdom? <laughs> Enjoy yourself. This is your time to shine. I will be shining. See you in Spain. Watching my favorite influencer. You're watching me and I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Um, we are ready to board the flight to Ibiza. Ibiza. They say Ibiza in Spain. Ibiza. Ibiza. And this is a short flight, so both of us felt like the flight from Miami to Madrid felt like two hours. We knocked out and I could have continued sleeping for like another four hours at least. I had a nightmare. What was your nightmare? I don't want to say. Tell me. There's somebody in it that I don't like. I don't want to talk about it. I think I know who you it is. You know who it is. Of course. Of course they'll come hunt you in your dreams. It's because you allow that energy field to be open. Okay, there's a long line. So, do you have a story to tell me or no? Yeah, you almost kicked that woman in the face. Why did you kick that woman in the face? I did not kick her. They don't put up with that in Europe, babe. I didn't. It's true. We need to tone down our American social media. It's not even living. that. You literally was started kicking, kicking in the air, and you almost. There was no one there. around me, and then all of a sudden they all appeared. Yeah, it's because you were putting on a show of kicking. You were doing more kicking. Okay, I have a photo of him. He took a picture, so I just like kicked my... Because he's like, show me your pants, so I kicked my leg up. But... I was making fun of you because you're wearing trousers on an overseas flight. Who wears trousers? And remember what you said to me? What? It's because you, you're a grown-up and you don't wear sweatpants anymore. I just feel like wearing sweat. I don't know, I can't for some reason. And this is from someone who used to wear like leggings and sweatpants on flights. I just, I don't know what happened. I don't feel comfortable. Is your sweatpants era over? Yeah, for now. Maybe they'll come back. But, uh, like, I don't know how I'm going to travel with the kids. Probably we'll have to wear... In trousers. Show them your trousers. <laughs> wear trousers on but an international... But they're so comfortable. The fabric is so nice. You know what we should do next time? We should have matching airport outfits. I'm getting us. Do you want to you tell people what I'm wearing? Do you want to see my outfit? You look very nice. I like your color scheme. Thanks. We're off to a good start because the luggages are all here. I have very like low expectations, you know, in terms of arrival. Because many times before, my clothes did not arrive with me. So this is a win-win.
Win, win, win. Okay, we are now heading out to find our driver and then we are going to our resort. The trousers did. Wow. Look, we have a little lawn. This is great. Oh, you can ground yourself here, babe. It's real grass. Well, you know what? I'm so impressed with you. Yeah, go ground yourself right now. Pretty nice view. So pretty. Look how beautiful. Look at this. This is a chocolate bar. I like chocolate. High vibes herbal chocolate. You need some more. Babe, savor it. I don't want to savor it. I want to consume it. This is not the kind of chocolate that you used to where you just like eat it. This is like terrible. It's not the kind of chocolate that you, that you eat? It's the kind of chocolate that's like... Oh, they've got more yummy stuff here. Rosemary almonds. All right. Wait, what's this? I don't know. Pickles. This pickled cauliflower. I'm going to skip the pickled cauliflower. We'll have some more almonds. Oh, look, we we'll have our activity. A pizza, a pita, honeycomb. That's great. You gonna eat it? I'm gonna try. Mm. Oh my god. What? Did you see that with the spear? It's literally just a mirror. Yeah, but it's a good mirror. You see, I'm here and I'm like, okay, I wanna change the whole design in our house. <laughs> No, no, if our house was modern, this is what I would do to it, but it's not. So we're sticking with the French. Right. Okay, I'm just arrived to this beautiful room. Um, should I do the room tour? No, you shot it, right? No, I didn't really shoot it. Oh my God. Okay, so here is the room we walk in. I love the natural kind of feel of it all. This is the bathroom. The bath is right here. There's a mirror, his and hers closets. There's the shower there, the bathroom here. And then the room is like pretty big. This is where we will be sleeping. It's like a little apartment over here. Then we have this beautiful outdoor area. Oh, I can't wait to just be right here and then this gorgeous gorgeous view the weather i have to say is absolutely phenomenal it's kind of chilly it's like a different it's different than in miami you know like in miami it's hot it's summer here it's like coming to summer kind of springy like warm but i feel like i'll need a sweater in the evening oh love Okay, and now we have to unpack because they brought our suitcases. Let me keep it open actually, some air. They brought our suitcases, so I have to unpack mine because otherwise it's going to drive me crazy. You have to unpack mine too, no? <laughs> no. Gary's going to try to get us some massages. Uh, tonight it is kind of a free night. We came a day early before the whole summit begins. So tomorrow the summit starts and it's like a three day thing. So we came a day early so we can just kind this of relax. No, this is mine. I think that's yours. So we can relax and unwind and be kind of ready energetically, you know, for tomorrow. Is this my robe, you think? Yeah. There's no way that'll fit me. <laughs> I think it will fit you. I think it's one size, baby. myself accordingly. I brought nail clippers this time. I'm very happy. Although I was kind of looking forward to add nail clippers from Vita to our collection. Gary has this thing where he buys nail clippers everywhere we go. This man. Your nails grow so fast. What's your secret? I have a beautiful wife. 
You heard it here first, you guys. Beautiful wife equals long nails. Okay, bags are here. We have to steal Gary's uh, hangers because I don't have enough. I can already tell I don't have enough. Let's start traveling with my own hangers. secret is to these kind of trips sets I actually has a, have a friend she messaged me she's like she's also gonna be here and she was like what are you bringing what do I pack I said girl get matching sets we'll save you each time you can mix and match we'll take you from the beach to dinner and that's the way to do it a lot for six senses in Ibiza wellness retreat but I'm here to shine literally have I took all of his hangers I unpacked uh, still waiting for the rest of the hanger I don't think they expected a whole lookbook situation now we're gonna head out uh, for dinner we couldn't get any massages but I was just telling Gary I'm gonna check out for the rest of the evening and the night because it was a long journey and I feel like I need to just so I'll see you guys tomorrow I was already a health queen this morning what did you have for well breakfast? you were still sleeping I wasn't what for sleeping, breakfast I was, I was in, meditating I was in the gym that's amazing yeah well, good morning. This is our first official morning in Ibiza. And we- Ibiza. Ibiza. I started my morning very slowly. Had some hard meditation, got ready, walked around a little bit in the room by myself. It was so nice. Why? I don't know, I really like, I savor these like moments alone. I find that I so rarely get them. So it was really nice for me. I have a massage for 10 a.m. You have a good life. I do have a very good life. And I'm very excited for that massage because I actually woke up throughout the night with like pain in my neck and back. Still from that like bus, the five hour bus the with bus Jake. The bus or the go-karting accident? The go-karting like messed me up for life, but the bus triggered triggered it so I'm looking forward to the massage and our official um, itinerary for the intelligent change summit starts at 3 p.m. so we're gonna meet everybody I think we're all getting together in an area here to meet everyone you know they closed the whole like the resort is closed oh really that. I, didn't yeah. know. I do know that they they brought together um, leaders in kind of the health and wellness space yeah. So it's, it's going to be very cool to get everybody in the same room. I already spoke with somebody who had a, um, a brand for a hair care product. Yeah. And so I was chatting with him a little bit. Anyways, it should be really interesting. Okay, had the most, oh wow, 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 relax. Had the most amazing experience on this hike that we did. I was a bit worried that it would be too intense for me, but it was just the right amount. Uh, the amount of energy and just, uh, I can't even explain it. The, the magnetic field was fielding, you know? Everybody's just kind of devotion and letting go and you really kind of had a chance to get into your own body and senses and activate them. It was absolutely phenomenal. I stopped Luke, who was the instructor, and I told him, you guys have to come. To Miami you have to do this you have to come to the US in general I feel like that's what we need right now you know that kind of collective energy that focuses on like personal 
resilience. It, it was a beautiful experience and um, I love that it was so dynamic. There was the hiking, there was Kundalini, there was so many different things that just like activated your body and your mind. You were also walking around, there was like kind of a walking meditation in a way. It was just awesome and you could scream, you can make noises, you know, no one hears, right? Everyone is like kind of in their own world with their headphones. Highly recommend, I know that they just opened up in London so if you are there, you have to check it out. It was like a nice physical therapy session. I am elated and very hungry. So heading out for lunch. Uh, this event, I've noticed that like in my head, I thought I'm gonna be vlogging a lot more, but it's such a personal experience and it's such a, it's an experience that, you know, you wanna take advantage of in terms of building connections and, truly getting to know people and uh, what they're about. So I find that with the camera, it obviously takes away from it. So I'm not vlogging a lot at the moment, but um, I thought it would just be nice to give you little snippets and then uh, give you a little bit of background and context once I'm in the room so I can actually devote my you know, attention to that. It is day two, it's only a three day summit. I wish it was a week. Um, I'm gonna talk to Alex and Mimi and be like, you guys need to make it a thing. I mean, it's my first wellness retreat experience. Uh, yesterday, after we uh, launched by the pool and did a couple of activities, we had the opening dinner. We got to sit and like have a really cool kind of like moment. So they left cards, let me show you because I brought it with me. So it was assigned seating and each name had like a card. These are also handwritten, which is like amazing. Each of us had a card on their table and my affirmation is, I love my life, I love everything and everyone in it. And I really love it, I'm gonna save it. But then another thing that they were doing, and actually Alex uh, Icon started the conversation, he was like, I wanna focus on death. I wanna focus on mortality, not in like, a dark, morbid way, but in a way that kind of wakens us up to appreciate us living. Um, and he wrote that quote, this quote that is on another card that was under our seat. It's a quote by Steve Jobs. Um, Remembering that you are going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You are already naked. There is no reason not to follow your heart. And they made this uh, life lived. So based on your age, you're kind of scratching the, you know, you know what I mean? So you see how much time you have left. This is obviously to a hundred lifespan, but it's just to like give you a visual understanding that life is going and it is now it is the time to like actually live it. I have 68 years remaining, by the way. Then they asked us to, what are the three things you want to make sure you fulfill experience actualize in the years remaining? Um, and then just questions, how do you want to live your life? What do you need to change? Who do you need to show more love to? What truth do you need to tell? This is just a beautiful little exercise we did in the beginning of the evening. And I think that it really opened us up, gave us an opportunity to really enjoy our surrounding and being in the moment. Uh, after the dinner, we went to a uh, talk. Uh, it was pathology and sexuality that was very, very interesting. And then today I started with this amazing hike and now I'm gonna go have lunch with Gary and a couple of friends. We're gonna lounge by the pool and then I'm gonna be doing, they're gonna have a session, hot and cold, uh, therapy, which is like sauna to cold plunge to all the good th things. Then I'm gonna go see Neil Strauss uh, speak. Uh, he's a New York best time seller author. He wrote a few books uh, and actually the workshop is how to tell your story or like how to write your book. Um, and I'm very interested in that. I'm always curious to see how people that write books or are speakers, like just the way they approach things, you know? So I'm excited for that. There's just so much going on and I just wanna be, I wish I could clone myself to be able to be everywhere. Yes, it's amazing. Okay, gotta go, bye-bye. <laughs>
social media and from the minute I started, I knew that it's either me or I can't do it at all. It was very vulnerable because the reason that I started was to break those limiting beliefs that like insecurities that I have. So I said, you know what, putting myself out there to the world to see, I mean, go to the deep end and pray. I'm curious to hear from you guys. What do you think right now is the biggest untapped opportunity on social media? I'm following back in love with long form content. I've realized that now I'm so exhausted by this short attention span yeah. and by not being able to fully express what it is that I'm trying to say. So I'm going back to long form. It is really cool to see how you see that need in the market now. Like people want to hear more, people want to get, you know, closer and deeper in conversation. So I'm starting to think about, okay, what's my next evolution, right? Because I have a lot of friends and creative friends in the industry that have been doing it for 10 years and I think you can get sometimes too caught up in the moment and forget, okay, what am I building towards? And, you know, I've realized that I love fashion, I love what I do now, but in 10 years, mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. So the podcast is my, like, building block for my next evolution in my personal brand. Um, so everything is going by plan.